Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at stats models and getting a grand overview. Let's get started. So first off, we're going to be doing a very simple kind of um, case study, let's say, uh, to get up and running with stat models. It's going to be a little bit more in depth than what we did in the last episode. Um, now we're going to start off maybe with a little bit more of uh, raw data and work up some statistical models, okay? We're also going to draw a diagram at the end. So um, let's also get used to using um, stat models and pandas and patsy, okay? So patsy is going to be used for using some matrix design, that type of stuff. So let's first off kind of get on, started with some of our imports. So let's import statsmodels.api as sm. Uh, we also want in here import pandas as pd, and we also want from patsy import d matrices. Um, and then let's see what else we're going to probably need in here. I think uh, that's going to be all. Now, um, first off, let's also, next up, let's say, let's go on and go on and get our data. So uh, let's just call this a data frame for now sm.datasets.get our data uh, set and we're going to get the uh, 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 Gary or Jerry uh, the historical data and uh, let me kind of talk about this data set once we uh, get it downloaded so um, this is a, a collection of historical data that's used by Andre uh, Michel Gary um, so and he had an, um, an essay on moral statistics of France uh, and so um, this data set is going to be, um, uh, usually it's a comma separated value and it's going to be on the R data sets repository. Um, now we've downloaded it, now we could have downloaded it uh, locally. Okay, so if, if you had this locally, you'd do something like um, df is equal to, oops, sorry, I'm used to using, uh, I've been typing in JavaScript recently. Uh, so you do something like df is equal to pd.read csv. Uh, blah dot csv okay and then um, everything would be taken care of that way again this is whatever path you would have to that uh, data frame let me zoom in just a wee bit so we don't um, strain our eyes so much now the next thing that we're going to want to do is actually go in and let's set up um, uh, some variables okay uh, and so we want the department we want the lottery data we want the literacy uh, we want the wealth and we want the region data uh, and then we'll also go on and let's take a maybe take a look at the data so we're going to say uh, df is equal to df vars so here we're just going to be uh, subsetting our data uh, for what we want and let's do df dot head and take a look at what we have here um, so again, we have we see here that we have the department, which is some sort of string variable, lottery, which is an integer, numeric, and you know, let's also grab the um, df.info for each of these so we can see exactly what they are. We have uh, strings for department and region. Now again, this region looks like it'll be a categorical, so maybe we need to do something about that. Um, we see here that we do have... Uh, one missing variable in here. So let's go on and take care of um, the missing region data. So let's do something like, um, let's say uh, df is equal to df dot drop in a, okay? Uh, so that we make sure and then do df dot um, info again here to make sure that, all right, now we have 85. So we've dropped that row that was missing everything. So we have a complete data set. Um, so let's maybe kind of talk a little bit about um, the purpose, okay? So when we're doing data science, we always need kind of a motivation for our model. So we want to know, um, our goal here is literacy rates, okay? So of 86 French departments and associated with per capita wagers of the Royal Lottery, and again, this is from the 1820s. Now we need to control for the level of wealth in each department. We need to also include a series of dummy variables. So that's going to be for these regions. Okay, um, and, uh, and we'll, we'll talk about what those uh, what dummy variables are here in a little bit. 
Um, and then we're going to also talk about some unobserved heterogeneity. Again, this is due to the regions, okay? That's how we're going to control that with the dummy variables. And we also have um, a model of estimation using our ordinary least squares. And so let's maybe talk also a little bit about the design. So let me actually pull up, this is a little bit of a first for us um, here now, data science for everyone. I'm going to use a little bit of pen and paper will actually do a little bit of work here. So let's actually go and talk about OLS. So OLS is for ordinary least squares. And we want to show something like this. Beta hat is equal to uh, the, uh, x inverse x prime of y. Okay, so here, uh, let me actually change this up in itself, okay, is going to be an n by one uh, um, column matrix. This is this is going to be our lottery. Uh, wagers per capita. X itself, okay, is some n by seven uh, matrix. Okay, and so this is also going to have, uh, that's uh, our six variables with an intercept. And that's literacy, the wealth variables, and then our four regional variables. Um, and so this is actually going to be kind of our, our main function that we have here. Now, most models are going uh, to, that we're going to cover basically in stats models, we're going to need to create um, uh, matrices of some sort, okay? Now, first off is uh, talking about endogenous variables, okay? So endogeneity, so let me uh, scroll down here. In um, uh, endogenous, Okay, so this can also be uh, something like uh, dependent. Uh, we can also say this as a response variable. We can also call this in here a regressand. Okay, now the next thing that we're also going to talk about in here is, and, um, the second one, again, this is um, this exogenous variable. Okay, and that means that we have something we can call it independent. And again, these are just, I'm just giving, uh, giving you an example of all of these simply because um, everyone may talk about these differently depending on what their background is, whether they're a psychologist, a data scientist, statistician, an engineer, a mathematician, okay? Um, this is, would be the regressor. Okay, and so uh, then we have again our OLS variable here. Now we can use uh, Patsy, okay, uh, to create up our, um, our matrix, okay, using uh, these functions, okay? So again, uh, so what we would actually be looking at is something like uh, lottery, uh, and I'm just gonna abbreviate these, lit plus wealth plus region, okay? So let's go and get that typed out for now. Um, let me go back to our main screen here, welcome back. And so here, let's go on and actually um, create this up. So, and let me move this down just a bit. So here we'll say something like Y, X, because again, we want to keep this in our matrix format, D matrices. We have lottery, literacy plus wealth plus region. Now again, you need to make sure that you spell these right. Data is equal to DF, uh, return, type in here is going to be, um, what do we want in here as a data frame? Okay, and then, uh, so let's actually maybe take a look, for example, at y, uh, y by itself, okay? Um, and let's actually do uh, type of Y, you can see here that it is actually a data frame, okay? Because again, we told it we wanted it to pop out as a data. You guys can't see that with me there. Uh, a data frame. Um, and let me move this down so we can see everything in one. We can do multi-line. So uh, Y dot head here. We can see here that we have our lottery data and it's been changed to um, 
to a float, okay? And then we can also do in here our x.head as well. And you can see here that notice that it turned our categorical data here, this region, into a, um, into a dummy variable for us, okay? So one represents um, for region E, okay? Uh, for in this uh, column, region N, region S, uh, region W, okay? And then we, again, we have our intercept that created that for us as well. So this is actually what this um, D matrices has actually done for us. It actually created up this nice little fit. So now let's go on and actually fit up the model. So uh, let me actually uh, turn this into something like a model fit and summary, okay? And again, let me make a couple more of these. So uh, a couple things that we need to do here is use our model class to create a model uh, and so and describe the model. So let's say describe the model. And so what is this model? We want a model that is an ordinary least square that takes in y and x. And so then now here you see here we have y and x. y is being um, a single uh, vector and here's a matrix. Uh, and then we want to uh, fit our model. Okay, um, using uh, whatever class of method that we've used, so we'll call this the result here, is going to be our mod.fit. And again, we could have done this all in one line if we want to, but again, I kind of want to print everything out in a nice way. And then the last thing in here, we want to uh, summarize the model. Okay, and that would be res.summary. And as we've shown in the first video, we can print this out or we can just run it like this so that it's in this nice um, HTML type format. Okay, and so let me kind of pull down here. Now, again, this res object has a lot of attributes that uh, we probably want to look at. So let's say that uh, we want to extract just the parameter estimates and um, uh, R squared, okay? So we can do something like uh, print in here and we'll say res.params. And then we can also say something like print uh, res uh, dot r squared. Okay, and so here you can see here that this this is the r squared. These are our uh, parameters, um, and maybe something like um, print. I'll just make a quick line here so we can split those up. And again, you can see here that they do match up here. Uh, so for example, uh, region t dot e is uh, negative 15.42. Again, we can go up here to region te, negative 15.42. Okay, that is correct. So we can grab all of these individually. Now, the next thing that we would probably want to do is go on and do some diagnostics. So let's go on and make this up as well um, and say uh, diagnostics and specifications. Uh, so, uh, stats models itself is going to actually allow us to do a wide range of regression diagnostic tests. Uh, so, for instance, we can reply, uh, apply a rainbow test for linearity. Um, so, for example, the null hypothesis here is that the relationship is pro uh, properly modeled as linear. So, for to do that, we would say sm dot stats dot linear rainbow res. And we run this and we see here that we have uh, this nice um, output here. Now, again, this output itself uh, main is not exactly very verbose. It's just kind of giving us um, uh, a little bit of information in it. Um, now, uh, the first number in here is actually um, the F statistic. Uh, and the second value is actually the P value. So here, the P value, it's not actually very, uh, very good. So we can also, if you guys are interested in uh, learning about that, we can do something like um, print sm dot stats dot linear rainbow dot underscore oh, under underscore doc underscore underscore, and so you can see here we can grab that info by using this this uh, doc uh, method in here as well as grabbing into the stats with whatever statistic that you want there to grab information. Parameters in here is the res. And it returns in here 
um, our F stat, okay, so a statistic based on the F test, and some sort of float, which is the P value. Um, again, it, and it gives you a little bit of a note here. Again, this test assumes that residuals are homoscedastic and uh, may reject a correct linear specification if the residuals are heteroscedastic. So again, it's talking about all of the assumptions that we would normally have uh, with that model, which is great for if you guys are ever writing a paper or anything and need to kind of dive further into the model. Now, um, whoops, uh, the, last, uh, the last bit that we're going to uh, cover in here is talking about doing some basic um, graphing functions with, uh, with the data. So we can do um, uh, sm.graphics.plot. Uh, uh, let's do uh, part regress. Okay, and then we want in here uh, lottery, we want wealth, then we want in here region and literacy. Uh, and here is data is equal to df and obs underscore labels is equal to false. Let me run this. And now we can see here that we have our, um, can't really see it very well here, uh, but there is here it says um, e wealth or x. Okay, and then here we have a lottery of X. And here we can see that again, there is, um, uh, this is just a partial regression plot. Okay, um, and we see here that this, this uh, linear line, whoops, this linear line here is doing okay. But again, this is definitely, there's a lot of noise going on in here. So again, we would probably want to do a little bit of different types of fitting, maybe some normalization, etc. with this type of data set. I definitely wouldn't be publishing any of this type of data. So today we just basically got started with stats models. Uh, in the next video, we're probably going to go into a little bit deeper dive into um, what are we going to look at? Uh, let's say probably more uh, maybe fitting models with more R style formulas so we can kind of get used to that. Those of you that are coming from R will be a little bit more comfortable uh, with what we're doing in the future. So if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.